we just got our first powder run of the season, and that's the type of thing we'd love to bring you guys. But we didn't get it on film because we weren't waiting around with ev with everyone else lined up at the lift. But trust us, we got it. It felt good. It's the first day of the year that actually feels like some real skiing. Given the season that we're having thus far, this is pretty much the best run we've had. Uh, good amount of powder, ran into some drifts, there were a few bumps, caught some air, and nice soft landing. And that's what it was like in late November. But as the calendar rolled to December, Colorado got what it needed. Freezing temperatures, and it snowed, snowed, and snow. By late December, the back bowls and upper peaks were open. Other than great skiing, living the front range ski life gives you the opportunity to see the world's best. Colorado hosts World Cup races, the X Games, free skiing championships, and this year's newest event, the Winter Dew Tour, and we got to go behind the scenes. All right, we're at Breck today, and we came here for two reasons. Number one, so we got some nice snow, some fresh, some fresh powder on the ground. We also came here because the Winter Dew Tour is going on right now, and we're gonna go see if we can get some interviews and meet some of the best skiers and snowboarders in the country. Who knows, maybe we'll bump into Hannah Teeter or Sean White or, or whomever. Come along. We went behind the scenes and met with athletes that compete all around the world to ask them about competing in Colorado. I've been coming out here like every for the past three or four years in January and doing whatever the most of the slope style contests and it's always something different, you know. It could be sunny, snowing, freezing, warm, windy mostly. Yeah. So it's uh it's tough but everyone's always got the same pretty much the same condition. So um, like I grew up skiing at Mount Snow where the next stop is back on the east coast there. Yeah. So looking forward to trying to go back there, but it's gonna be the same thing. It could be snowing, raining, icing, anything. So we'll see. It's too late to take it back. It's fun, our this pipe's awesome. I I landed my first run how I wanted it to be uh, landed a little flat on my second, but it's cold and it's snowing. Nice style on that trip right there. Let's make a scene. Oh, this is what we do. Thank your parents for the DNA. Uh, it's great to be in my, my home county, my home mountain, competing with the first one to do for the big event. Have a good time here. So, it's going to be fun to be going to the next few places, next stops, and I think Vermont and California. We'll see where it goes from there. Sweet, well, good luck, Jack. Thanks for a couple minutes. Thank you. Yeah, it's always fun uh, competing in Colorado. You know, early season they get a lot of snow year after year, so it really makes for great early season events. tricks and get everything dialed in for the season. Colorado is perfect to do that because they always have the jumps open early and the pipes open early. So. First run. You know, just thinking about my kids in Africa who I sent all my Listen, contests to. You're a heat two rider. So you're going to be taking practice runs in between the heat one, second run. That was really motivating for me when I was dropping in. Like, it'd be gusting and whipping. I'd like to think about Africa, man. The kids are in the heat. Heat one rider during their second run. 
I'm a charity, uh, and that's where all my contest donations go. So maple syrup and organic hemp sweat bands. Just hannahsgold.com. Say it again loud. <laughs> hannahsgold.com. Awesome. Yeah. After a slow start to the season, we had a great December. The Front Range Ski Light 2009 resolution is to bring you more powder. Happy New Year!